Hey guys, considering the current coronavirus situation with uh, all the water bottles just flying off the store shelves and everyone buying everything up, I thought this would be the perfect time to give you guys the valuable uh, understanding of how to create a water filter that's automatically refilling and uh, continues to filter at all times, giving you a large reservoir of water at any point in time. So what we're gonna use is a ceramic uh, gravity fed filter. Um, and these you can get online at a lot of different places. Um, what it is is uh, silver, colloidal silver impregnated uh, ceramic, which has uh, micro pores of about four microns. So it filters very well, um, even up to a lot of different pathogens, most, path most pathogens. Um, they say you could actually put sewage water in uh, in the top tank and it would filter into good water. So I don't want to try that. You can at home if you want. Uh, next thing that we're going to use is a float uh, valve. Now, you might say I've seen that in my toilet. Yes, these are usually used in the back of the toilet, but this float valve can be used for lots of things. So this will automatically refill it. And I'll go into the details here in a second, but what we're gonna do is fill the top with water. It's going to filter through and fill the bottom reservoir. You can just use two buckets. Um, I use a glass jar so it looks nicer um, and then cover the top bucket with something nice. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get you filtering water and ready for an emergency, you know, just in case a national pandemic ever comes around. So this is all you're going to need um, to install this. Um, I'll run through real quick. I'll put all the links in the description below. Um, so one uh, piece of half inch PVC pipe you can buy for a couple bucks at Lowe's. I'll show you, um, like I said, all these things in the links below. I'm gonna install two filters. These ceramic filters you can buy in singles, pairs, however you want online. Um, this is uh, simply a adapter, a threaded um, half inch adapter to a slip end. Um, and I'll show you what that's for in, in, in a second. And then this is the, uh, the male end threaded um, to the slip uh, with two O-rings on there. The uh, float valve, some 3 8 uh, tubing. Um, as you can see in the background there, I have used quarter inch um, and that could be easier if you want to install it um, to the back of a refrigerator. Uh, sometimes they have quarter inch tubing, which works great. And um, you gotta have the uh, 7 8 inch connector for the uh, float valve. And, uh, and then of course our bucket and a lid. All right, let me pause for a second. Why build your own gravity fed auto refill water filter? Well, simple. Your power goes out, your electric goes out, any kind of emergency, this keeps cranking, you keep on having fresh water, you can pour anything into the top, fresh water comes out the bottom. And the auto refill part for the rest of the time is really nice. You don't have to do anything. It will refill itself and you will always have gallons, literally, of fresh filtered water standing by to fill up your Nalgene or whatever else you need. That's why. All right, first thing we're gonna do is um, drill the four holes. So we got two filters, uh, one air uh, release, pressure release valve, I'll explain that in a second. And then one um, hole for the float valve. That's gonna be the inlet for the water. So for the float valve, you see I wrote seven eighths. Um, you can go ahead and drill a one inch hole. That'll fit the end of the um, float valve on there, which is a seven eighths, eighth, um, but it has a large rubber gasket that allows you to um, seal it off very easily. And make sure to put it at least one inch from the edge because of the um, little wing nut on the end that you need to be able to turn it and not hit the edge. You got two half inch holes for the filters. Um, I would definitely, if you have a big old drill bit, use that. That'll make a cleaner uh, hole every time. You can use um, a uh, paddle bit um, if you want, but it's uh, it's difficult to make those really nice, and especially with these old dull ones. And then you got your three inch, uh, three fourths inch hole. Again, I'm gonna use probably paddle bit for that. Um, I don't have a bit big enough, um, but that'll seal off just fine for the uh, pressure release pipe. Make sure you get the food grade bucket so you're not getting any crazy chemicals uh, in your water that you're filtering. That would, that would be pointless to filter. You got those cut, let's go ahead and put it all together. I'm gonna take the half inch uh, adapter for uh, the half inch PVC pipe and uh, 
to screw it into that half inch hole until it's uh, tight with the little o-ring squishing out a little bit and then we can take our um, filters and put them up through the inside with our uh, just make sure you have the rubber o-ring still on it it's got a seal um, and then we will put the little wing nut on there at the bottom like that and do the same with the other one To screw the other end of the half uh, inch diameter PVC. Oh, see, I messed up. You gotta put the other O ring on the inside where there's gonna be a little bit of water pressure from gravity. We're gonna go down and insert into the half inch adapter, and then we're gonna take a four inch pipe. And we're going to insert it into the half inch adapter on the bottom. Okay. Those do not need to be glued. Uh, you can glue them. Um, use some PVC cement if you would like. Uh, that, that's fine. But it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be. All right. Finally, we are going to put our float valve on. Okay. Finger tighten that. There you go. Ready to go, ready to filter water. Now what we need to do is prepare the clean water reservoir that the water is going to drip into and fill up with fresh drinking water. So at this point, what you need to do is take your lid and drill the same holes as you did here to fit the pipes through here. Now they don't have to seal, they don't have to be exact. Um, they just have to fit through so that your lid on the clean reservoir bucket can, uh, so that your top bucket can sit flat flush onto this uh, lid and hold up the weight. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I have a, gla a glass uh, second reservoir and uh, and I just set it on top without this. Uh, the simplest way is to use a second bucket. What I will use the lid for, however, is to finish the top. This now does have to seal. As you see, the black O-ring will help it seal. Um, I wouldn't use the screw on lids that they use for dry food. They don't seal uh, as easily. These seal very well. The reason for this is, I'm gonna go ahead and explain now how this works. Um, and so everyone has a clear understanding. Um, if you're interested, if not, skip over this. So once you put uh, the lid on, it's sealed. And as the water goes down, it creates a vacuum um, because this is sealed. But it can only do that if the air inlet valve is sealed from the bottom. As you can see my hand down here. What seals that? When the bottom reservoir fills up. So everything is automatic. As this fills, it will automatically uh, reach the point, um, if I said that on the front, where the water fills up to this tube, it then creates a vacuum. Um, it no longer filters and drips through any more water. And at that point, um, it will stop refilling. And that allows it to um, be fully automatic. So I never have to tell it to stop or start or refill or do anything. Um, and it works without electricity. It works without uh, water pressure, as in if your water goes out, um, you can elevate the source and um, it would work just the same. It doesn't need 40 PSI like a normal water system. The only thing you need after that is the uh, 3 8 adapter, which will screw directly onto the 3 8 end of the uh, float valve inlet line. Um, and again, these usually are used on the back of a toilet to refill. So you can get them in that section in Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and then the seven eighths will fit directly onto um, your float valve. All right, so we're back to the water filter here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my water filter on since it's a uh, glass reservoir on the bottom. Um, for you, if you're putting it on a bucket, what you're gonna do is center it just where you drill the holes uh, for everything to go right in the middle and then uh, drill one quarter inch hole in the side of the back, um, which is where you'll pull out the inlet tube uh, from the bottom of the top reservoir. Okay, so that's the only difference of what you'll do from my setup. Uh, my setup is a little bit uh, 
angled because of that, uh, which is fine with me because we cover this anyways to make it look nice. A normal, any uh, refrigerator is gonna have a quarter inch uh, input at the back or in line. So um, the easiest way is to take your uh, T with your, I believe these are called sharp white T's. They uh, pop right in and just lock instantly. Um, and what I did um, at one, uh, with one refrigerator I had is simply cut this uh, and pop it in both ends of the T and you're done. So that's not gonna be quite as easy here because we have a quarter inch line that is uh, bolted on. So I'm just gonna use a uh, quarter inch T. So same idea, um, and then that's just gonna, I'm just gonna use an adapter to the 3 8 If you're gonna attach this under a sink, what you're gonna use is a 3 8 inch T. This is what I used at our last house, didn't use it for years, it worked perfectly. Uh, most sinks use uh, this size right here, and um, you'd simply, uh, as you can see, I cut the 3 8 Instead of using the uh, plastic 3 8 inch T, you just use the brass one and uh, bolt it into your cold water line. And bam, voila, complete. So besides that, turn the water on at the wall. Make sure nothing's leaking and needs to be tightened down. Uh, it should not be over tightened as uh, this is screwed on the plastic and you don't want to uh, damage that valve. Other than that, make sure to have your tall green work socks on because we all know that you can't get a good project done without the work socks on. As you can see here, it's starting to drip through and filter. So we're off to the races, as they say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There, uh, we went ahead and covered it with a cloth just so it looks nicer so you don't have a bucket in your kitchen. Uh, we do this because we like this system so much compared to everything that's out there that we just use it year round. So uh, if you like, go ahead and give, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you want to. Have a great day.